Welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from the title, we are trying out Mellow Cosmetics today. So excited! I have been waiting for a hot sec to finally do this video. I'm very excited to share some of their products with you. They actually reached out to me, which was super exciting, and they wanted to see what I thought about some of their products, and they wanted to give me an affiliation code for you guys to use, so if you like any of the products that you see today, there's the code for you guys. Ah, so huge for me. I'm gonna try out some really cool products today from them. I have the Sinopia eyeshadow palette just came in the mail today so I haven't even swatched it haven't done anything with it yet so you guys are gonna see it first I also got a glitter chrome eyeshadow from them in the shade rose gold super pretty I did have a peek at that one and I also got two of their matte liquid lip paints one in the shade Florence and then I also got one named Berlin. I already have my base on using some Wet n Wild products. I did a full face of Wet n Wild the other day. But enough of Wet n Wild. We are going to be trying out Mellow Cosmetics. They are actually from Australia, so it's really cool. Somehow they found me in the States and they asked me to try out their products. So I'm very excited. Um, just so you guys know, even though I am an affiliate, I'm going to be open and honest about how the products work. I'm going to give my full authentic opinion just because they gave me a code for you guys to use and for myself to use as well does not mean that I am going to make anything sound or look good that I don't genuinely think seems to be a good product. So I just wanted to put that out there. I am going to be giving you real authentic reviews. So without further ado, let's try some stuff on. Ah! Okay you guys, so we're going to go right in with the Sinopia eyeshadow palette. So exciting! First of all, love the packaging. So cute. Here we go. I already kind of knew what it looked like just because um, they had the colors on the outside of the box. Such a beautiful color story. I'm actually going to be doing two different videos because I was so inspired by this palette that I think that I should review two different looks with this same palette. Definitely have to dig into that blue for the next look. So if you want to see how this blue works, check out my next video. But right now, for this video, we're going to be staying into these beautiful nudes. I already love, even though this is a smaller company and brand, that they have the names, not just on the back, but also on the actual palette itself. I think that's awesome. So, Mellow Cosmetics, you already have one point for me. Can't wait. Let's test some of these out. Okay, so for our first shade, we are going to be going into this lightest shade called Pecan. This is just going to be our first starting shade for all over our base, all over our eyelid to make those other shades really pop. We have some really good color payoff already. Feels very nice and soft. Yeah, for kind of a base color, look at that versus this. There is a tiny bit of pickup in the pan, just in case you guys were wondering about that. All right, we have our base color down. And like I said, for this look, we are going to stay in these gorgeous nudes and neutrals. And I think for our first crease shade, we are going to go into the shade Blush. 
and that's this one right here. So there is a tiny bit of pickup in the pan, but not as much as the pecan shade. The color payoff, it's blending very nicely, you guys. Like I said, this is going to be an authentic review, so I'm not gonna be making anything up to make them sound good. So these are my honest opinions. Pretty good for our first crease color, and it is buildable also. So far, so good, Mellow. Okay, for our next crease shade, we are going to go in with Sinopia. This one right here. Just to darken up the outer corner a little bit more. Hardly any pickup in the pan from that shade. Looking good. And I do not see any fallout on my cheeks. I think we are going to go in with the shade Blush for just our starting all over lid shade, which is the first one that we used for our crease. So let's see what kind of pigment we get when we are using it all over our lid and we're not trying to fade it. Very nice. It's not patchy at all. And it's holding its pigment. Feels very soft on the lid also. Okay, for our last crease shade, I'm going to be going into Merlot. Merlot barely has any pickup in the pan. Like just the slightest, tiniest bit. Feeling cute. Okay, you guys, now we are going to go in with some of our shimmer shades. I think I'm going to start out with the shade Cinnamon, the shimmer shade right here. I'm going to focus this one mostly on the outer corner. So this one is very subtle. See, almost no difference with shimmer. This one does have more pickup in the pan. Okay, here she is. Down up a little bit. Maybe it's just so close to Sinopia and Merlot that it's hard to see a difference. When the light hits it, I do see it a little bit. Our first shimmer shade. You can kind of see it right there. Now we are going to go in with the shade Current. This one right here. And this one is going to go all over our lid. So I'm not putting it all the way into the inner corner because I want to keep that light and bright for our other shimmers to come. So this one is also pretty subtle and I did have a tiny bit of fallout. Let me use my powder brush to kind of sweep that away. So there was fallout with that one, but it was easily swept away. It's not there anymore. Um, the next shimmer we are going to go into is the Birch Shade, and we're going to focus that one right in here. So I'm actually going to go back into our darker shimmer shades with a different kind of brush. This one's a packing brush. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was still using my blending brush. I just want to see if I can get a little bit more shimmer and pigment from them with using this brush. Oh yeah, much better. She's arrived. Sorry, Mello, that was my bad. Just need to be using a packing brush. Still a little bit of fallout. There we go. So yeah, just use a packing brush. That was my bad. I don't know where my makeup head was at. Should have known that. So cute. Big difference. All right, now we are going to go into the birch shimmer shade with our packing brush this time. Not gonna make that mistake again. Oh, and this one 
seems to be pretty buttery in the pan. Very little pickup. Ooh, and she looks very pretty. Mm-hmm, very nice. I'm actually going to go in with some of my setting spray and see if I can get it to pop even more. Just so we have a real, a BAM on our center lid. So, just gonna use some of my setting spray. Get that packing brush a little damp. I'm going back in with blush. She got a little chunky. Same though. Oh yeah. The setting spray did make it even bolder. Yeah, it went from shimmery to foily. Okay, you guys. Now for our inner corner shade, we are going to be going into the shade Champagne. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and spread some setting spray onto my packing brush. This one also seems very buttery. Ooh, very foily and it's buildable. Mm-hmm, look at that. Gorgeous. It's very bold. Love how buildable that is too. I'm seeing it here, folks. I ain't making this up. Mmm, delish. Okay, now with a clean blending brush, I'm just gonna try to blend these two together so it looks a little more seamless. We do have a little bit more fallout on the cheeks. Sweep that away. I'm not sure if that was from the inner corner shimmer shades. A little chunky whenever I was using them with the setting spray. It does look a tiny bit chunky. Let's see if I can pat it down. Even for having a setting spray on them, they did blend really nicely together. Pretty impressed with that also. So far so good. Mellow Cosmetics. I see you girl. I see you. Okay, now I'm just going to use some of that lightest shade, Champagne, and I'm gonna dust it all over our brow bone area just to highlight it. And this is without the setting spray. So let's see what kind of color payoff she has. Wow, look at that. And that's without setting spray before. Whoa. She is here to make a statement. Mm, 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 mm. Gonna blend that out a tiny bit. Like when things look seamless. They're playing very well together. Feeling pretty delicious. I think I'm going to put a tiny bit of champagne, just tiny little dots right there, just to give that an extra little pop. Cause I love that shade so much. It's so bold and beautiful. Press into that. Oh yeah, that's what she was missing. I'm gonna be honest, you guys, I didn't really know what to expect from this palette. I am impressed. This is such a cute look. And I feel like some palettes, it's hard to kind of envision the kind of look you're gonna do with it. But I just knew immediately with the color story of two different looks that I could create with this palette. Wow. I said it. I'm saying wow. I'm impressed. This is a really cute palette. And I'm impressed with the color payoff. I'm impressed with how they blend. Definitely impressed by that champagne shimmer. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys. Now we're just gonna do some work on our lower lash line just to complete the eye look from the palette to go in to Sinopia all the way down to where shimmer shade starts and now I'm going to go into that Merlot shade the darkest shade that we are using on our outer corners just going to press into that just darken up the center just the tiniest bit with it 
looking good. Okay, you guys, now I'm just going to take a little smudger brush and I'm just gonna smudge out what we did on the lower lash line. Wow. I said wow again, you guys. I'm impressed. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes off camera and I will be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished eye look and can I just tell you, oh my gosh, I'm in love with how this eye look turned out. Mad for Makeup, Sinopia Eyeshadow Palette from Mellow Cosmetics, yes, big two thumbs up. I almost said three thumbs up. If I had three thumbs, I would give it three thumbs. But oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know what it is. If it's the color story that the eyeshadow palette has or just the quality of the eyeshadows or what, but I feel so pretty. I didn't even want to put on a dark eyeliner or big fake lashes because the palette just speaks for itself and I didn't even want to take away from the eyeshadows. And so I actually put on just these cute little Demi Wispies from Ardell and I used just kind of a lighter brown eyeliner from Ulta. But, oh my gosh, love. Let's see how the glitter eyeshadow works and those two little lippies that I bought next. Can't wait. I was so impressed by the palette, I actually forgot to put on mascara on my bottom lashes. So, now we are complete for the eye look. I did not forget about the glitter chrome eyeshadow in the shade rose gold i'm actually going to use that as a lip topper after we try out our cute little lippies but first while i was putting my bottom mascara on i thought what if i used that champagne shade in the eyeshadow palette for an extra bit of highlight on my face so we're gonna try it Oh. oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, do you see this? Do you see that? It's so pretty. Put some on my cheekbones. Oh my gosh, Becky. Look at her cheekbones. Oh, oh, more. You guys, I'm obsessed. Tell me when to stop because I don't think I can stop. Just tape it right here. Highlight. Oh, holy mackerel. Oh, oh. Oh, she pretty. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Look how glowy she is. Is she born with it? No, it's Mellow Cosmetics. <laughs> wow. You guys. I love it so much. Okay. <clears throat> back to the lips so I think I'm going to save the shade Berlin for my second video for Mellow Cosmetics so tonight we are going to go in with the shade Florence and once again it's a matte liquid lip paint cute little doe foot applicator let's see how she does mm. What a cute nude. Mmm, smells good too. Very natural. You know, it says it's a matte, and we'll have to see when it dries down completely, but it does have the tiniest bit of a shimmer at the moment. Not bad, my dear. Okay, you guys, so here is the liquid matte lip paint, completely dried down, and it is matte. It's pretty. It feels good on the lips. It doesn't feel like it's creasing, really. Yeah, it feels really good on the lips, actually. It's really comfortable. 
I can tell that I'm wearing something on my lips, but it doesn't feel bad at all. In fact, it feels good, if that makes sense. I'm also really liking that lip paint. Okay, you guys, now we are going to go in with our glitter chrome eyeshadow, just because I want to see how it works as kind of a glitter on my lips. Oh, oh yes. It's very subtle, but it is definitely glittery. And it is the perfect topper for this matte lipstick. This gives it the extra the bam that I'm always looking for. And it's buildable. Look at that. You guys, I feel so pretty, can you tell? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. And can I just say, I wasn't sure how the Mellow Cosmetics was going to be and perform, but oh my gosh, I'm in love. I love the eyeshadow palette. The color story, how the glitters are with and without setting spray. I love how they blend, the color payoff. I love everything about this eyeshadow palette. I'm definitely going to be using this over and over and over again. Create this look again and to dig into some of those other really cool colors in that palette also. The liquid lip paint in matte in Florence, I also really like. It did exactly what it said it was gonna do. It feels extremely comfortable. Also, it's transfer proof, which was really cool. Yes, for the liquid lipsticks also. And then you guys, the glitter chrome eyeshadow in the shade rose gold is a lip topper to die for in love i cannot wait to see how this performs on my eyelid for my second video for mellow cosmetics and can i just say this highlight look at that from the champagne color in this eyeshadow palette oh my gosh i'm gonna be using that all the time so you guys needless to say mellow cosmetics big thumbs up super happy. I will definitely be using more of these products. Like I said, if you guys like this look, I am now an affiliate officially with Mellow Cosmetics. Woo! My first affiliation. Don't mind me geeking out, but I totally am. You guys can use my affiliation code. Super exciting. If you don't want me to get any commission, you don't have to use my code. So there's that. Let me know what you guys think of Mellow Cosmetics. Mad for makeup? Approves. Woo, big time. I thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what you guys think of the products. And once again, thank you Mellow Cosmetics for joining with me and wanting to collaborate. I love your products and I'm excited to try even more out. Like I said, this is a real authentic review and check out of Mellow Cosmetics. I would not lie, I just want to be authentic on this channel when it comes to reviews, with mental health, with everything. And so this is, can I just say, the shoot? <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Till then, bye.